Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video, and today I am going to rank all of the shark bite boats. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to start with a sailboat, which is obviously F tier. Uh, you know why. It's free, uh, it's very slow, and it's really bad at maneuvering. Next, we have the fishing boat, and I would say the fishing boat is probably uh, D tier. It's not terrible, and it only costs a few teeth, and it can, it can, it can drive pretty well. Uh, so next is the yacht, and the yacht, I just think it's an E tier. It's not very good, and, uh, you know, it doesn't go very fast, but it is, uh, and it is a little bit amount of teeth. I would say the yacht is an E tier. It's not as good as the fishing boat, I think, and, um, it's pretty slow. So next is the patrol boat. Patrol boat, uh, has to be D. It's about the same as the fishing boat, and it's perfectly fine, and it doesn't cost a lot at all. The catamaran is definitely F tier. It's very big, and it's very slow as well. And it costs more teeth than the fishing boat and the patrol boat. So next is the canopy boat. And the canopy boat would probably be C tier. It's not slow, uh, but it's not fast. And it's pretty fine. And it's, you know, it's not bad. Uh, next has to be the motorboats. So the motorboats, I would say, are in B tier. They're very good. They can almost outrun, you know, a normal shark, and they're pretty good. And next is the green and pink jet skis, the exact same as the motorboats. They can outrun the normal shark, and they're very small and very fun. Same with the banana boat. Uh, well, actually, I would say the banana boat is probably C tier, because, I mean, like, it's a banana boat, it has a little thing trailing around you, makes you bigger to hit, and also a little bit slower because it can get stuck on stuff and it can also, you know, pull you for glitches and stuff, like, when you don't want it to pull you. Um, so yeah. The next would be the bunny boat. Definitely, probably E tier. It's just absolutely not good and it's definitely, um, not the worst. <laughs> next we gotta say ducky boat. I would say it's in D tier. It's not as bad as the bunny boat. Well, actually, it's probably the exact same as the bunny boat, so I'll... I'll put them both in D tier, because they're not terrible, but they're not, you know, good at all. They're just a normal boat. So next was going to be Unicorn Paddle Boat, and Unicorn Paddle Boat has to be an F tier. It is terrible. It glitches a ton. It You can just never float around at all. It does look pretty. It has a nice trail, but it just does not work as a boat in general. So the Deluxe Yacht is very good, it's very big, and it only costs a thousand teeth. Uh, I think it's just uh, great, and it works to to get places, and also to have a bunch of fun. So, next, I gotta say, the Hovercraft is also in S tier. And the reason that it's in S tier is because it doesn't cost a lot, it's pretty fast, and uh, it can be used with the gift launcher to just launch yourself around the map. And it, it's hilarious, it works really well, and it also puts little mines, so the shark runs towards your boat, and you launch away, and they get hit by the mines, and you do a bunch of damage to the shark, and you get away. So, I would got to put it in S tier. So next, the Flying Dutchman. I gotta say, I would put it in S tier, but it's just not, like, the, the best of the best. So, also, I'm probably just gonna move Deluxe Yacht out of S tier, because it's not the best of the best. Uh, Deluxe Yacht, uh, A tier and not S tier, uh, my mistake, but uh, Flying Dutchman, A tier, it's pretty fast, it's pretty big, you can get up and snipe people from really far away, but, um, you know, it's not the fastest, and uh, it does make very cool sounds though, <laughs> it's not the best though. So Stealth Boat, uh, it can do the flying glitch with the Stealth Boat, uh, it's very fast, you can go underwater to collect this chest, it has a gun, so while you're sitting down you can still shoot people. Or shoot the shark, and you gotta put in an S tier, definitely because of the flying glitch and how much fun and how fast you can get around. Plus, you know, you can go underwater, and then you can do the stealth glitch, which just lets you not be invisible to the shark with particles. Next, I gotta say the military boat, probably uh, C B tier. Uh, I don't know. It just it just doesn't seem as good. Um, you could get the candy boat, and it would be worth your money compared to the military boat, in my opinion. Uh, I just don't I, don't, I don't really like it, I don't think it's very good. Uh, so next is the SWAT boat, 
I think it's probably even worse than the military boat because, um, well, it costs more and also it doesn't even have a gun, so there's no real point in getting it, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna put it in D tier. Now E tier, uh, I'm gonna put submarine in it because submarine is just not as good as the stealth boat and it costs 2,000. So you could, you know, get the Spectre or get the Deluxe Yacht or get the Flying Dutchman, you know, and or get the uh, hovercraft as well. And it's much more worth your money than getting the submarine. So next is the pirate ship, and the pirate ship has to also go in A tier with the Dutchman uh, because the pirate ship can also ram into the little islands and just get flung up. And also, it has cannons, so that can do a little bit of damage if you ever manage to hit somebody. Uh, and it has a little deck at the top, and the flying uh, speed glitch where you just run into the ram into the island and go up is just hilarious. So I'm gonna put that in A tier. So next, um, I'm gonna rank the Spectre. And the Spectre probably has to be S tier. It's just like the best all around. It's fast, well, fastest without paying, you know, actual money. Um, two seat actually no three seats because there's one on the back and i just use it all the time it's super easy to use and you can just get around places really fast uh so next is the destroyer and i say the destroyer would probably be an a tier because the the guns on it are really good it's very big and the driver seat is also very very uh hard to get to as a shark uh so you can you'll probably be safe if the shark attacks you plus the gun does a lot a lot of damage. So that's why I'm gonna put it in S tier. So next to the Titanic, and this is gonna be very controversial, but I think the Titanic probably is in C tier. Cause like, the Titanic, it is the most expensive, it is the biggest, but it's slow, it takes forever to turn around, you can't do like a 360 without crossing half the entire map. And there's no guns on it to do extra damage, and when you sit on it, it's super easy for the shark just to boost over and get you. I mean, sure, you're in a little space, but it's very easy to get knocked off. And it just falls over, you can't get it back up, and if it, and if you fall off, it's pretty much impossible to get back on it. So that's why I'm going to put it in C tier. The only reason it's in C tier, not E tier, is because it's very, very big, massive, you know, has a lot of clout if you have it, and also... It's just, it's fun to use, to show off. And also to honk the horn. The horn is massive. I mean, the horn is so loud. You can hear it from, you know, across the entire map. Next is the sleigh. And uh, the sleigh 2019, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. I'd say it's uh, probably, probably uh, C tier. Because, um, you know, it's not good. It's not bad. It's perfectly normal, perfectly fine. Uh, next, I would say the Raptor. Uh, it's kind of obvious. This one costs money, but it is the fastest boat, so it has to go in S tier with the Spectre. So next is the Rock Hopper boat, and I think the Rock Hopper boat has to go in F tier because, like, it literally costs money, and it's pretty much the exact same as the Bunny and the Ducky boat. So I see like no point in actually getting it. Next is the RGB turret sleigh. And I'd say the RGB turret sleigh is probably going to go in A tier. Because uh, it's only Christmas only, so you can't get any more. But it has a really good turret, it looks great, and it's very fast. But uh, actually, no, yeah, I'll put it in S. I mean, it just it looks great, it has a, a, a good gun, uh, two seats, and uh, <laughs> it has fire on the back of it and it's, it's an RGB, so I think that's really cool. Uh, Candy Boat, uh, gonna be an S tier, I mean, gonna be an A tier, because the Candy Boat, uh, it's, it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely good, but it's not as good as the Spectre, because the Spectre is faster than it, and the Spectre costs more, but I gotta say, it's an A tier. Now, the Research Boat, I'd probably say it's, uh, it's C or D tier. Uh, I think it would be probably D tier, because you immediately get eaten once you're in the cage because of the particles. Uh, it's not that fast, and it is 950 teeth. So, there you have it. That is my, uh, that's my tier list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tell me what your tier lists were in the comments below, 
So the way you get to the tier list is by going to tierlist.com and then typing in shark boat. Now in my last video I had the weapon tier list and this one will be the boat tier list. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.